Super Mario GVT presents Super Mario Galaxy The Starry Beginnings. Rescue Luigi from the Ghostly Galaxy. Hello everyone, this is Super Mario GVT, and welcome back to Super Mario Galaxy The Starry Beginnings. Let's get started by going to Ghostly Galaxy. Welcome to Ghostly Galaxy, Luigi and the Haunted Mansion. You will start off by landing on a star shroom. Use the launch star underneath it to reach the haunted mansion. Then, walk along the twisted walkway to reach the interior of the mansion. If you are quick, you can use the Rainbow Star to take down the boo that comes out of the portrait to reveal a key. Otherwise, you can also use a lever switch to turn on the light to take down the boo and grab the key. It will open up the door to the next room. The next room is shaped like a large cube. As you are walking around, grab the five star chests while avoiding the Jack of Goobas to reveal a launch star. It will launch you to the exterior of the mansion, where you will find Luigi trapped in a window. To open the door to get inside, you will need a key. Use the pull stars to safely grab it. Inside, you will find booze. When you touch the question coin between the two candles, a boo mushroom will appear. This power will make you move around like a boo and will let you face through walls. Use your boo powers to go to the caged walls and avoid lights to reach Luigi. In order for you to talk to Luigi, you will need to return to normal. Use your boo powers to go to the caged wall. 
then go into the light to revert yourself to normal. Now use the springboard to reach the other side where you can finally speak to Luigi. He will give you a power star for saving him. When you return to the Comet Observatory, Luigi will be in the garage. Yeah. If you speak to him, he will reveal that you missed a power star in the Gooda Galaxy. And that power star is the secret star. You will get it right after you collect another power star. For right now, let's return to Ghostly Galaxy. Welcome to Ghostly Galaxy, a very spooky sprint. You will land on the Starshroom like in the last mission. Use the Launch Star at the bottom to reach the gate of the mansion. Use the pull stars to reach a launch star. It will launch to the spooky speedster planet. When you approach the spooky speedster, he will start a race. If you accept, the race will begin. Throughout the race, you will need to use pull stars and watch out for obstacles that may slow you down. If you are taking the Sling Star, react fast, as you need a Pull Star to stay on the track. Thank you. 
If you have made it first, the Spooky's Beaster will give you the Power Star as a reward. Then return to the Comet Observatory. And it looks like Mail Toad gives you a letter from Luigi. The letter shows a picture of Luigi in Good Egg Galaxy. Let's go rescue him. Welcome to Good Egg Galaxy, Luigi on the Roof. It is only accessible in any normal mission. When you reach the starting planet, you will need to go to the roof. You can get there by either taking the orange warp pipe on the underside, or by triple jumping and spinning to it. Once you talk to Luigi, he will thank you for saving him and give you a power star. Now, let's return to Ghostly Galaxy. Welcome to Ghostly Galaxy. Beware of Bouldergeist. on the Starshroom like in the last two missions. Take the launch star underneath to reach the Haunted Mansion. Follow the walkway, avoiding the chomp and the bats to get inside. Inside, you will need to use a bomb boo to blow up a Bowser statue blocking access to the fireplace. Enter it to reach a launch star. A 
that will launch into the Phantom Tower planets. Here, you will need to use Sling Pods to reach the Sling Star. Use it to reach the Lawn Star, which will launch to the second Phantom Tower Planet. Here, you need to use Sling Pods to collect five blue star chips to cause a series of pull stars to appear. Use them to reach the Launch Star. It will launch to the Phantom Hole Planet. Here, you will need to use a Bouncy Ball in a Hollowed Out Planet to reach the Launch Star, which will launch to the Boulder Geist Battle Planet. Work your way to the circular platform to cause Boulder Guys to make his appearance. During the battle, dodge the rocks it launches. The black rocks it launches reveal the bomb boost. Use them to take it down three times. Once you've hit it a third time, he will reform into a rock with the addition of hands. Dodge them too. Do the same thing as in phase one. Once you hit it once again a third time, the Power Star will be yours. Yeah.
Welcome to Ghostly Galaxy, Boulder Guy's Daredevil Run. You will land directly on the Boulder Guy's battle planet. You will need to battle Boulder Guys to reveal the Power Star, like in the normal mission. The catch is that you will have to do it with only one point of health. Welcome to Ghostly Galaxy, Matter Splatter Mansion. It takes place during the second normal mission. When you reach the mansion gateway, you will find two stalagmites. Do you notice one of them is glowing? Break it to reveal a launch star. will take you to the darkness room planet. Here, you'll have to keep your eyes on the moving floor to follow it. Walk along the forward moving floor to find a key. Grab it to open up a door to take you to the next area. Here, touch the question coin to cause the floor to move backward. You have to follow the path as the floor is moving. This is super tough, so make sure you do it carefully and quickly. Thank <laughs> you. 
After passing the door to the next area, grab the key to open two doors. In the first one, touch the question coin to cause the spotlight to move upwards. Use your wall jumps to carefully but quickly climb up the floors until you reach the topmost floor that has the key. Grab it to open up four doors. One of them contains the power star, which you will need to grab. Let's go to Boy Base Galaxy. Welcome to Boy Base Galaxy, the Floating Fortress. You will start off by landing on the starting planet. You need to go to the top of the fortress, but the catch is that there is a cage that weighs the bottom portion down to the water. To solve this problem, dive into the water and find a torpedo Ted. Lure it to the cage to destroy it so the bottom portion of the fortress rises up to the surface. And a path is revealed so you can make it to the top of the fortress. As you are climbing, watch out for thwomps water shooters, and elite octumbas. When you reach the green valve, spin it to turn out the water shooters and reveal a green top man. Jump on it to spring you to the upper platform. Tighten the blue screw to cause the platform to start moving. As you grab the blue star chips, watch out for the amps. Thank <laughs> you. 
When you collect them all, two pull stars will appear above the jump garter. Use the jump garter to reach them, which will take you to the water sphere planet. Here, you'll need to reach the top of the ball beamer with the bolt. Dislodge it to cause the planet to open up halfway. You will then find the power star inside. Welcome to Boy Base Galaxy, the secret of Boy Base. It takes place during the normal mission. This time, after diving in the water on the starting planet, lure a torpedo Ted to a cage with a warp pipe. Once it is destroyed, head inside. It will take you outside the planet. Make sure not to fall off the platform, otherwise, gravity will change and you will have to work your way back here. After following the path while avoiding bullet bills, you will find a green power star trapped in a cage. To free it, lure a bullet bill to the cage to destroy it. With the cage destroyed, the green power star will be yours. You will return to the Comet Observatory, and a new chapter to the storybook is unlocked. Polly reveals that the green power stars, including the one you just got, hold a special power. Now let's go to the library and read the new chapter of the storybook. Chapter 5, Home. The kitchen will go here, and the library will go over there, the girl said busily to herself. We'll put the gate here. Ever since the girl took Luma under her care, she'd been bustling about at a feverish pace. It's a lot of work, but it's worth it to make a happy home. It turned out that Starbits weren't the only things buried in the ice. There were tools and furniture unlike any they had ever seen and the girl used them to build a home. Looking at the completed house, Luma remarked, Don't you think it's awfully big for just the two of us? With the library, bedroom, kitchen, fountain, and gate, 
It was certainly spacious, but still something seemed to be missing. If only my father, brother, and mother were here, the girl said wistfully. Indeed, the house was too large for its two small residents. That night, clutching her favorite stuffed bunny close to her heart, the girl fell asleep in the starship. We will come back later, when the next chapter is unlocked. And that is Part 5 of Super Mario Galaxy, The Starry Beginnings. Thanks for watching. I will see you all in the next part.